guys welcome and welcome back again to my youtube channel my name is betty you're welcome to Chandra's corner in today's video we'll be discussing all about facebook limited originality content policy and violations so in the course of this video we'll find out why people receive limited originality content violation from facebook how to fix it and how to prevent it from happening again in the future According to Facebook, a content violates the limited originality um, policy if the person that uploaded or if the page that uploads that content has no role in creating the content or does not alter the content in any way. So it's either not the create content creator that has that particular video and while in the course of your editing and uploading, you did not alter the video or add any meaningful or useful information. You just pick up a video and you upload it or you pick up a video but you do just little alterations in that video before uploading it. From this, it just shows that it is possible to monetize a Facebook page with another person's content. Like like you can totally upload other people's content on your Facebook page and monetize that particular page but there are ways and there are steps to go about it in order to avoid this limited content um, originality claim from Facebook. Facebook themselves knows that it is not always possible or feasible for, for a page or a personal account to upload 100% their content but like I said there are set rules and there are guidelines that you have to follow. If you follow these guidelines to a T, you will not be slammed by that violation at all. How do you do that? You have to significantly alter that particular content you're picking up. Find a way to make something brand new out of another person's content. Add value into that content. That is what Facebook wants. So what kind of thing do you add in a content? One thing you can do to make somebody else's content yours is to like put an overlay. If you watch some of these reaction um, videos or people reacting to other people's video, you see that the original video is there and then there's a small box. I'm going to put a, a sample on the screen here so that you understand exactly what I'm talking about. There's a small box by the corner where you will be reacting, maybe changing your facial expression and I am putting in one or two words while the person is talking. There should be an overlay of you in that video. Depending, it depends on what your video or your page is all about. Okay, if it is you highlighting or commenting on the event in that video, then while the video is playing, you can also be making one or two comments, okay, in the course of the video. That way you will not be slammed by the um, Facebook limited originality content violation. Another way you can do something about that is you can do a voiceover on the video, commenting on the event in that particular video. Or you can also do a text, like write a text on the screen. The text on the screen should also explain whatever, add information to that video you're watching. Okay, so another way that you can reduce this violation is to repeatedly edit the video okay so like if you have a one minute video you can break that one minute video into different segments and in between each of them let's say um, 10 seconds in between you you put in your own video and you say something related to what has already you've already shown for example if you're naming top 10 movies okay in 2022 you can show thrillers of the movie or a particular scene in the movie and then you say something concerning that clip that is that you've already played explaining what those videos are all about so these are a few of the ways that you can prevent you uh, being slammed with the original limited originality content violation so how do you remove limited originality um content violation take note that facebook can actually slam you with limited originality content even when you are you are not uploading other people's content like it could be a glitch in their system or just something wrong with the process and when that happens all you have to do is to immediately after checking to make sure that you actually do not have people's video on your page that you did not edit properly you can just immediately send an appeal to facebook if in the course of this video you enjoy or you've gotten benefit in any way from watching this video, please click on the subscribe button to join the family. Thumbs up this video guys. 
your thumbs up will go a long way to help the YouTube or Facebook algorithm to push this video to the right audience. If your page is a brand new page, like you just opened it, you've uploaded just few videos, like less than 10 videos or 10 videos or a little bit more on your page, and these videos are all videos from other people, and you get this violation from Facebook. The best thing I would advise you to do is to delete all of the videos. Delete all the videos that you have uploaded that are not yours because it is obvious that you did not modify it enough to Facebook's satisfaction. After deleting all of those videos, you can now appeal, send an appeal to Facebook um, asking them to review your page and remove the content violation. And it will be done once you've taken out those videos that triggered that violation. If your page is an old page, this is solution number three. If your page is an old page, some pages have met the requirement for monetization and they've been monetized and they've been cashing out for a considerable period of time and then all of a sudden you receive this limited content originality from Facebook. You do not have to go and delete all of your videos. Of course not. You do not have to go and delete all of your videos. All you have to do is to go back to your videos and look out for videos that are not yours that you uploaded from the videos that are taken from other content creators it's obvious that one of those videos was not properly modified or edited and that is why facebook slammed you with this policy so you just need to delete the videos that are not yours out of the numerous video you have videos you have appeal to facebook to review your page and remove the content violation please take note do not stop posting on your page because you have been hit with limited originality content. Continue making your videos, continue posting your content on the platform. Sometimes over time, maybe in the course in like a month or two, the content violation that Facebook slams you, they will, they will remove it by themselves. It happens even when you don't send an appeal or you've sent an appeal before and they reject your appeal. The more you continue posting on your page, modify your videos correctly edit your videos make your the reuse content you're using brand new to yourself do all of that and continue posting on your page gradually in less than two months sometimes some people have um testified that okay the limited originality content violation just disappeared from their channel and they are able to collect their money and continue their monetization continue making money on their page okay so the worst thing you can do if you are hit by limited originality content from facebook is for you to stop posting do not stop posting but that's it now these are the steps that you would need to appeal to facebook i will leave a link in the description of the instruction facebook gives on how to go about appealing you can choose to appeal to the limited content violation claim you got from facebook from your mobile phone or from a computer if you're appealing from a mobile phone, all you have to do is to go to the notification Facebook sends to you. Click on that notification and you'll be automatically redirected to the content policy violations page. Okay, from there you select the violation issue you have, follow the steps one after the other the way it is outlined there on Facebook and then click on appeal. If you are um, trying to appeal through a computer, you can either click on the link in the description to bring you to this Facebook help business um, help center or you go to your creator studio, go to the monetization tab and click on policy issues. You will see the list of issues you have on your page. You can select the limited originality issue and follow the instructions on the screen until you can successfully appeal. If in the course of this video you enjoy or you've gotten benefit in any way from watching this video, okay, so give this video a thumbs up, like and subscribe to my channel, turn, your, turn on your post notification too, so that whenever videos like this are uploaded on my channel, you'll be the first to know. And then if you're returning subscribe, thank you very much for always coming back to watch my videos. I will see you guys in my next one.